and is not understood here. Specifically in the last 15 years when this war on terror was being fought in Afghanistan and on the borders of Pakistan, a uh, lot of misunderstand uh, misunderstandings between the two countries and the governments. So the, what I hope is that by the time I leave, I would have I would have made people here understand our point of view, what we went through when we had 70,000 Pakistanis dying in this war on terror and we had billions and billions of dollars of loss to our economy. And we were fighting the U.S. war of terror because uh, Pakistan had nothing to do with 9-11 uh, or had Al-Qaeda was in Afghanistan. Uh, there were no militant Taliban in Pakistan. But we joined the U.S. war. And unfortunately, where things went wrong, and I, where I blame my government, that we, we did not tell the U.S. exactly the truth on the ground. Part of the reason was our governments were not in control. There were 40 different militant groups operating within Pakistan. Uh, so Pakistan went through this period where people like us were worried about that will we survive it. So while the U.S. expected us to do more and uh, help U.S. win the war, Pakistan was at that time fighting for its own uh, existence. So um, it's important that uh, it was very important that I met President Trump. I met uh, uh, Secretary Pompeo. And we have explained to them that the way forward is, number one, the relationship has to be based on mutual trust. And trust me that I will be telling the truth. Mm. I will be telling the U.S. what we can do in this peace process. Pakistan is now trying its best to get the Taliban on the table to start this dialogue. And so far, we have done pretty well. But it's not going to be easy. Do not expect this to be easy because it's a, it's a very complicated situation in Afghanistan. But rest assured, we will be trying our best. The whole country is standing behind me. The Pakistani army, the security forces, all are behind me. We all have one object, and it's exactly the same objective as the U.S., which is to have a peaceful solution as quickly as possible in Afghanistan. So, so I, would, uh, I would finally like to say that I hope from now onwards, uh, you know, our relationship is on a different level. Uh, it was painful for us to watch this mistrust between the two countries. Pakistan has been an ally of the U.S. right from CETO and CENTO in the 50s. Again, uh, you know, the, the uh, jihad when the Soviets invaded Afghanistan. So we were again uh, on the same page. And then again, we were with the U.S. in this war on terror uh, after 9-11. But this after 9-11, as I said, these misunderstandings took place. And we hope that from now onwards, our relationship will be completely different. And rest assured, I will make sure that we, our relationship is now based on truth, on trust. And I think there is so much, because Pakistan is strategically placed in a unique position, uh, place in the world. It has uh, two of the biggest world markets on one side, energy reserves on the other. It's a, it's a key uh, position. And Pakistan has always uh, had close relationship with the U.S. And I hope that we again get back to the relationship which was based on closeness, on trust, on mutual respect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are now making a presentation to the Prime Minister. Would you bring the uh, presentation over, please? وزیر اعظم عمران خان پاکستانی کاکس سے کیپٹل ہل میں خطاب کر رہے تھے انہوں نے کہا کہ پاکستان نے امریکہ